Hello and thanks for joining us for this video tour of the individual uh, artist works in the alternate paths photo exhibit here at New Movement Studio. We're going to start today with highlighting uh, my work, uh, which are all calotypes, um, most of which have some elements of hand coloring. We'll start off by taking a look at the pieces themselves and then I'll read a little bit about my, uh, my statement here. So this first piece is called Dead and Alive, Ivy on Wall. This was shot in Hooks, Germany, which is a little section of Frankfurt. You can see here that there are some um, different color tones there, some greens and some browns. I know that the gallery lighting here makes it a bit difficult to appreciate. They're much nicer in person. Um, but these calotypes uh, are contact prints where I have manually applied the photo emulsion to the paper so you can see my brush strokes. And then after processing, I've applied watercolor over the top. This piece is uh, for sale. Uh, it's 16 by 20 framed and is available for $300. This next piece is called Side Door, Church of Our Lady Della Pena in Vasto, Italy. Um, also a calotype with some hand coloring. You can see in the brick there, uh, the little elements of hand coloring. This one also is framed to 16 by 20, also available for $300. The next one that we have here is called Stone Walk with Leaf, Liner, Leaf Litter from Nordlingen, Germany. This is also a calotype with some hand coloring applied. Here you can see sort of golden and reddish tones in the leaf litter section of the image. Also framed to 16 by 20, also available for $300. I have six altogether. This one is the fourth. This one is called Wooden Door, Casa Bordino, Italy. Um, it also has a variety of different color tones um, applied throughout and uh, again $300 for the framed image. The fifth one here is called Fountain Face in the Ivy, Nordlingen, Germany. This one has some green applied but um, it's a little bit more subtle and maybe a little bit more difficult to appreciate again with the reflections here. This one's also framed to 16 by 20. It's also $300. And then the last one in this series is called Diamond Doors, Cividale del Friuli from Italy. Also a calotype with watercolor. Uh, here again, if I just kind of move around um, so that you can't see the reflection as much, you can see it's framed 16 by 20 and is also $300. All of these particular um, items, if you are interested in purchasing the image itself without the mat and frame or the image itself without the frame, uh, just message me and I'd be happy to um, let you know what options we have. I'll just take a minute now to read my statement. For this exhibit, I've prepared a small set of six images, three featuring doors and doorways, and three featuring a combination of natural elements such as leaf litter and sprawling ivy with man-made walls and walkways. I'm drawn to photographing doors and windows whenever I travel, and I love how home and business owners decorate the entrances to their spaces to make them more pleasant for passers-by. I also love photographing texture and the juxtaposition of different textural elements side by side. And I love, love that this particular collection of images just sort of came together and everything went so well. The prints here seem uh, actually combine digital work with the alternative historic calotype printing process. Um, each one started as an iPhone image, which was then manipulated digitally in Photoshop to create a negative. That was then contact printed onto a piece of paper that had been hand coated with a photo sensitive, sensitive emulsion. After developing, toning, washing, fixing, uh, I then applied watercolor over the top. So there's a little bit more to it, but um, I'm going to go ahead and post the whole statement, and I'll let you read more about that later. Thanks for joining us today.